this is Rainy and today I want to show you some of the fun things you can do on World of Warcraft at level 70 if you're a cozy casual gamer and today I just thought it would be fun to share this with you because it could be kind of overwhelming with all the things there are to do on World of Warcraft and there's a lot of different currencies as well so it can be confusing so thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy the video let's go ahead and get started so at the beginning of the week reset which is Tuesday it's important to pick up the aiding the accord quest outside the building of the dragon aspects the NPC Thurzal and he will have that quest each week I had already picked it up but I wanted to just at least show that and mention that um, one of the things I like to do is just take a look at the map and see what's going on just looking at the world quest uh, rewards and deciding you know what you want to do based on the the rewards that you can get and I think that it's really cool how they incorporated a lot of um, world quests with the dragon riding stuff so that's always fun and um, you know you don't want to hit those purple orbs as you see that it stuns you and so you're trying to smash into these insects without hitting the orbs I do apologize for my crazy driving. I'm not the greatest at controlling my dragon riding mount. And then I found some Dream Surge Coalescence that you can actually fly through the little green orbs that you'll see me flying through. And when you, whenever you see those, you definitely want to go through them because um, it's a currency that you can use to get some cool items. And if you're not aware of that, I will show you later in the video what you can do with those. And then I hit Renown 17 for the Dragon Scale um, Expedition. So now we're going to see what the Dream Surges are all about. So if you go to this NPC here, you can get this quest from him and that's a weekly quest as well. So I'm going to accept that. And then if you go over to the NPC that's got his hands um, up and he's doing that spell there, you get to choose between two different choices, um, whatever you want. Just read both of those and then pick the one that sounds the best to you. And so I'm making my selection here see the highlighted world quests that have the kind of greenish glow you can collect dream surge coalescence from those quests as well so now we're just in the area you'll see on the map there's like a little bit of red flames on the map 
So you'll follow that area, that elemental icon, and just you'll see that when you land in your mini map, you'll see the little area where you need to be. And you'll see that you have stages. I'm in stage one right now, and I have a bar that's filling up. And sometimes the bar goes really fast if there's a lot of people out there. So you might not get all of the Dream Surge coalescence that you need for the quest because you have to collect a hundred for the quest to turn that in. Um, so it might take you a couple of times doing the Dream Surge event and I believe it happens every 30 minutes. So just looking at your map, you'll be able to see what different activities are happening and what time they're going to be starting. I didn't get a lot during the first Dream Surge event, so I had to do another one to finish the quest. But they're fun and they go pretty fast. There's a lot of currencies in Dragonflight and it can be a little bit confusing so I'm hoping that by showing you some of the stuff that I'm doing maybe it will help you be able to not feel overwhelmed. There's a lot going on. There's definitely a lot to do so you know you're not going to get bored. There's going to be a lot of options. So the little flames on the map called the waking dream and that's where you go and then you just continue to take part in the um, stages of the waking dream. So I think I was able to collect everything I needed this time because I got in there early enough to where the bar hadn't really been filled up. And so I had more time to collect what I needed. And I am in a group right now, but my um, a lot of times I just play solo. I didn't capture any of the game sound because I was in a group chat at times and I also had things happening in the house so I kind of needed to filter out the audio. I do enjoy the game sound. I think it's relaxing the music and um, I really like the music in World of Warcraft. It's really pretty and very fitting for the different zones and the events have really cool music and effects so I do like that. And I'll try to incorporate the actual game sound in the next video I do. So that was just the big boss that we got and then you can see what I was able to get from um, completing that and now I'm heading back to turn the quest in and then I'll show you some of the stuff you can get. So you get the Dream Surge Cocoon and then you get Welpling's Dreaming Crests which I'll show you those a little later too. But um, with the Dream Surge Cocoon, you can choose an item to trade it in for here. But I do think that it's worth um, showing this gear because maybe you're trying to um, gear up right now. And so this is a good way to get some decent gear and you can upgrade it. And I'll show you that in a little while. So I'm gonna put in a link to give you more information about Dream Surges. 
So be sure and check the description for that and it'll show you some of the gear that you're going to get, some really cool things that you can earn um, by doing these. And um, right now I'm trying on a few of the pieces, but if you want to see all of the different sets that you can collect, definitely check out that link. These Whelplings Bountiful chests that you can also get will give you 15 Whelplings Dreaming Crests, which you can use to upgrade the gear. I'm going to do that a little bit later in the video so you can see what that looks like. The Dream Search Coalescence is something you'll collect and it'll be in your bags as I'm showing you here. So this really cool eagle mount is one of the things you can get for 1000 dream surge coalescence so that's why i'm flying through those green orbs and doing all the different dream surge activities so that i can get that super pretty mount and it's always fun to collect mounts and pets in my opinion so there's also toys you can get and um, this one looks cute uh, call a trio of adorable friends from the Emerald Dream to your side. I want to get that too eventually. And then there's a battle pet. This frog here. And so anyway, I'm just showing you some stuff. You can also see that there's some bind to account items. You can create a soul bound item for your class. So you can buy those and send them to your alts. And another toy. And another pet and just more stuff to send to your alts. So yeah, I like doing the dream surges so that I can, you know, collect more um, for my um, transmog sets and just get those mounts and pets. I think this one's a really neat world quest and it's really just chill, cozy little relaxing thing to do, just taking pictures of the um, wildlife in the game. And I like the sound of the camera. I know you can't hear it right now because I had to, um, you know do my voice over here but one of these days I will get a video where I actually have the game sound going and you'll hear it it's really relaxing I like the sounds of the clicking and um, you know, it's kind of like ASMR And then I decided I would do a race because I noticed that um, I could get some more Dream Surge Coalescence from doing that. And I really want to get that cool eagle mount, so that was motivating me. And if you want to jump and skip this part, please use timestamps. I know that it might be a little bit of a wild ride. Um, I'm usually not the greatest at doing these races. But I think they're a lot of fun, and I actually really like um, dragon riding. Although I am a little wild, and I definitely have a hard time with like being precise as far as landing in certain specific places. I have, I'm a little bit out of control when it comes to landing, but doing the races are really fun, and I think I'm getting a little bit better at them. I kind of got lucky and did better on this race than I normally do. But anyway, I just think it's a really interesting way to um, be able to use our mounts. And I'm so excited that we can dragon ride in um, the entire world of Azeroth now. And I got lucky and I got gold on that race, which is really, like I said, very rare for me. Then I decided that it would be fun to do a battle, a pet battle, because I hadn't done that in a while and I just think it's a lot of fun doing pet battles. But I did just kind of slap three random um, 
battle pets into my pet battle slots and I tried defeating this elemental and I did not do very well. So after just trying it on my own for three tries and failing, I took some advice from one of my um, awesome guildies who told me that that against elementals I should use aquatic. I tried to pick the spells that would do better against elemental, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just picking spells you can see on the screen, um, you know, what spells do best against the elemental, and those are the ones that I chose, like that one right there. So it's actually a fun, uh, like, mini game, and I did talk about pet battles in a beginner guide. I did seven parts to a little guide to introduce cozy casual gamers to the World of Warcraft game so that you could kind of get an idea about what it's all about in seven parts. And I did cover battle pets a little bit, but I'm not an expert by any means. I don't do it a whole lot. It, it is really fun and every time I do partake in a battle, a pet battle, I always think to myself, why am I not doing this more? It's so fun. I'm going to put links in the description to the things that I'm talking about today, so definitely check out the description. If there's more information you'd like on each of the things I'm showing you today, you'll be able to just click on those links and learn a lot more about it. You know, I don't take this too seriously. I have a lot of fun and I really, I should try a little harder because it's really fun. I should really get into it and look it up and, and just kind of make sure that I have a good team and know what I'm doing a little bit more. But right now I'm just um, kind of winging it. I don't know. There's just so much to do in World of Warcraft and I'm, I'm just kind of covering my variety of things that I like to do in this video just to show you what kinds of things are available and, you know, I also want to show you some of the rewards you can get from some of the events. That was a really fun little battle and I barely won but that's okay I will take it so I got 10 dream surge coalescence from that and I also got a um, some whelpling dreaming crests and I got a battle pet reward as well which I'll show you here so I got a mechanical battle training stone it's account bound and it adds 2,000 experience to a battle pet in the mechanical family. So it'll level up one of my uh, mechanical pets. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to get one more of these Dream Surge Coalescent um, orbs here. But I was having a very hard time with my Dragon Ride amount being precise and getting, <laughs> aiming myself to 
go through it. So I just gave up and used my regular flying mount. So if you unlock uh, the Pathfinder uh, achievement and you get just regular flying in the Dragon Isles, uh, if you're like me, it's going to help you with times like that when you really need to be precise in controlling your mount. And I will put a link to um, help you with how you can get your Pathfinder achievement as well, just in case you haven't gotten that yet and you want to. So now I'm turning in the Aiding the Accord quest, which is awesome because you're going to get extra reputation, I should say renown, and you also get your treasure chest from the Valdraken that you can open, and mine doesn't usually have anything great in it, but you never know. So from here I wanted to take you over to um, the portal to go into the dream and enter the encampment there so that I can show you um, where to go to upgrade your um, your gear and there might be one in Valdraken too. Uh, I'm not sure. If you know and you want to add that in the comments that would be great. But I do know for a fact there's one over here. And there's also the Super Bloom event here that you can do and you can get a quest for that once a week and you can get a cache of the overblooming treasures which has a chance to get give you some decent items as well. I already did that for the week so I didn't do that today. But um, I just really wanted to come over here and just show you where you can upgrade your, um, your gear. You know, I just... This is the exchange person that I'm at right now. So if you need to exchange for those uh, Welpling Streaming Crests, you can get them from this person here. And then um, you can also just go on over to the one who upgrades your gear, which is to the left side. Um, I'm showing you here, you can use, um, so I have 14 Drake Streaming Crests right now. and. I don't want to trade those in for the Welplings one because I have all my gear at 450 now. So I want to use that the Drake streaming crests. As you can see, I need one more. I have four. I need four. I need 15, and I have 14. So I'm gonna wait till that um, till I get more of those to upgrade anything past 450. I can upgrade. I I did get a um, trinket that I am gonna be able to upgrade. I decided to upgrade my trinket here and it shows you what you need so at the bottom underneath underneath the little panel that explains it you can see right there it says total cost 65 flight stones and I had that so I went ahead and upgraded this trinket that I just got and I just kept upgrading it as much as I possibly could um, until I didn't have enough resources so that's what I'm doing here but like I said, there's a lot of videos out there that can really explain this uh, a little bit more, well, a lot more in depth. And especially if you are doing, you know, if you're doing <laughs> hardcore gaming, you're probably not watching this video anyways. After I upgraded what I could, then I, um, I just decided I would kind of take a look at the map here and see if there's anything else I wanted to do while I was over here. Then I looked at the map and I noticed that there is a rift that I want to do. It tells you when it's starting. It, I had two minutes, so I decided to fly on over. And, um, this is really something that they added in, I believe it was patch 10.1.5, I think. So this is an older thing. It's been here for a while. But what I really love about the rifts is that there's some... There's a lot of rewards that you can work on getting. You're you're going into like the different timelines. So it's it's kind of silly and crazy and and very creative in my opinion. You've got seven different timelines that you could experience in these rifts. You talk to this NPC here and her name is um, let's see if I can read it. Sori Soradormi, Soradormi. Yeah. You talk to Sordormi and she'll have a quest once a week, but I already did the quest. And if you want to read what she says, I went ahead and just clicked through her little dialogue there so you could read it if you want to. You can just pause and read it. And notice she has a red line with a heart, so I do believe you can increase your rep with her. I'm not sure what you get because I haven't done that yet, but I'm pretty sure that she uh, offers new things as you level up your rep with her. But, um, so in order to participate in the rift, you just go down when it's happening. 
talk to her. You get the quest. You get the quest once a week, and then um, you'll get a, an extra, some extra goodies from the quest, of course. But you can do it, you know, throughout the week just to get some other, you know, currencies that you can use towards um, the different NPC vendors, which is what I do. So I still, I'll still come down and do it just so that I can earn the currencies that I need to get the different rewards. And I'm going to show you the words at the rewards. At the end of the video, I will put some pictures of the different rewards you can get, and I will also link. Uh, in the description all about rifts so you can read up on them and um, if I find a good video that really goes into detail about it I'll also link that so the you report to Sora Dormi and you you have to start the event by reporting to her and it tells you that so as soon as the event starts I got into a group because I just got invited randomly and that might happen and if you do get invited to a group I think you should just take it because it will make it make it easier so it tells you on the right side what to do and so I had to check in with Sora Dormi and now I have to resolve the paradox and it shows you on the mini map where to go and everybody has different objectives that can just be random and there's seven different timelines that you could actually end up being pulled into so it's it's pretty cool and pretty clever so I was uh, tasked with finding the demons and it wasn't too difficult but if I clicked on the wrong one it just um, just X'd it so it showed me that I didn't get it right and then um, I just kept trying and I'll be honest some of the different activities that you do during this little rift can be a little bit confusing and you'll see that I did have a little bit of trouble but you know it's not a big deal you just keep going and um, because if it's the first time you've done it there's so many different activities that you could end up getting and if you haven't done it before you might not know exactly what to do it, even if it tells you you might still be a little bit confused and that's okay just you know just go for it you could probably find some videos explaining it more in depth but I don't think it's really a big deal it, and you get better as you experience each of the different possible activities so um, right now I have to kill as many fell bogs and their guards as possible and so these little activities are timed and then it'll switch to something different. So you're just reading on the right what it says to do and then checking your map to see where you should go next. And this one is uh, the one I had trouble with because I wasn't really sure how to uh, deactivate the bombs. I know I was figured out that I wasn't supposed to be getting hit by those orbs, but I also figured out that I'm really bad at not getting hit by the orbs. So I didn't do very good on this. So I just wanted to show you though because this might happen to you. You might have a little bit of a frustration with one of the activities and. You know, by the time I read and tried to figure out what to do, it, it pretty much ended. So it was not a big deal. So just know that, you know, it's okay if you're not sure what to do. Everything will work out in the end. So that event finally ended. I think somebody else on my team must have done it, thankfully. And we moved on to the next event. I didn't have any issues with anything else. Everything else was pretty much straightforward, and the rift doesn't last too terribly long, and it was a lot of fun, and I thought it was really a creative way for them to, you know, play on the whole timeline. I thought that was really fun and clever. So at the end of this, I'm going to uh, show you the rewards that you can get, and I think you'll like it. There's a lot of vendors, there's seven vendors and they all have different things. And I will put pictures at the end of the video and I will put timestamps in so you can jump straight to the rewards if you don't wanna see the uh, fight, the rest of the fight, if you wanna just jump straight to the rewards. 
it's definitely worth, worth checking out if you haven't done these and you haven't collected these items there's different um, gear there's um, transmog stuff there's uh, mounts and pets and toys all kinds of goodies And then the next phase is into the rift, the rift. So I have to enter into the time rift, and then we we just have to defeat um, the boss that's in there. And then that will be the end of the rift. And you want to make sure you do this part if you have, especially if you have the quest, because you know you're going to need to do this in order to turn your quest in. And then you just turn it into Sora Dormi again, but like I said, I already did the quest. So uh, you can just go talk to the uh, vendors and also check your bags and see what you got. Just use it before you do the, um, the rift again. It's called Encapsulated Destiny. So I definitely, and I did have one and I forgot to use it before I did the rift, so I should have done that. Um, so the paracasual flakes are what you will use to buy most of the items, but this one is the dilated time pod. This this vendor here uh, sells an item that you can exchange for that, and I already did exchange mine for the week. So I'm going to show you the vendors, and I'll show you a few of the items that you get, but I will put a link to a Wowhead um, website that goes into a lot of depth about the rifts and you'll see all the different things that you can get. You can see that there's um, gear that you can upgrade and you can upgrade it the way I had showed you earlier 
There's also these really cool trinkets, and there's this really pretty uh, staff, and just there's a lot of cool weapons. But these trinkets are interesting because they're kind of like based on or influenced by legendary items from Classic WoW, if I'm remembering that correctly, what I read. So they all have um, a similar kind of trait to what those legendary weapons had. I thought that was a really cool way to, to use the trinkets. Um, so anyway, I show you a few of the rewards here. Anyway, that's pretty much today's video and just remember to check the links and see if there's anything that you're interested in learning more about. And here's the gear that I was telling you about. This is a uh, some of the sets and these are some of the um, weapons you can get from the different vendors so just be sure to talk to all the vendors and take a look at what they all sell and see what you're interested in and I hope it's been a fun video for you and I hope you found some exciting things to work for and fun events and activities to do in World of Warcraft as a level 70 thanks so much for watching and until next time Happy gaming.